It's a leftover of the Cold War living in modern times. Will it be able to survive or will it collapse under the pressure? Welcome to Watch Mojo News, the weekly series where we break down news stories that might be on your radar. In this installment, we're counting down 10 crucial facts you should know about North Korea. Number 10. Why was North Korea created? In the early 20th century, after Korea enjoyed a short period of independence, the country endured the Russo-Japanese War over control of the area. Finally, in 1910, Korea was annexed by Japan. However, by the end of World War II, when a defeated Japan ceded power over Korea to the Allies, tensions had risen between the Soviet and Chinese Communist-backed northern section and the United States-supported southern half. When a resolution was not found by 1948, the country was officially split along the 38th parallel, creating the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, or DPRK, in the north, and the Republic of Korea in the south. Residual friction and the existing Cold War resulted in the beginning of the Korean War on June 25, 1950. Since the war ceased fire in 1953, South Korea has evolved into a more liberal and democratic nation, while North Korea is generally considered to be ruled via dictatorship, with control passed down from generation to generation. North Korea has a higher share of the population in uniform than Nazi Germany and fascist Italy had until the Second World War. Number 9. Who lives in the DPRK? In general, the population of almost 25 million North Koreans is homogeneous, with only small pockets of Chinese and Japanese populaces. However, that number is far lower than experts had predicted. Because of a three-year famine that began in 1995, North Korea's expected population growth to 28 million by 2010 never took place, as between 240,000 and 3.5 million people died as a result of malnutrition. My family had decided to commit suicide because for three days we didn't have anything to eat. This disaster was finally brought under control with the help of large international food donations from the World Food Program. Number 8. How are North and South Korean relations today? Technically, as a formal peace treaty was never signed by either side of the Korean War, North and South Korea are still at war today. This has led to periodic flare-ups along the line that divides the two Koreas and along the sea borders. Each country regularly accuses one another of violating the boundaries set forth, with occasional warning shots being fired. While both sides engage in mild skirmishes, less common are exchanges of fire, as these neighbors both benefit from a heavily armed military. After the turn of the new millennium, tensions had largely subsided. However, the ascension of President Lee Myung-bak in the south and Kim Jong-un in the north effectively ended the period of peace, as President Lee disapproved of the North's nuclear program and Kim suggested he'd bomb South Korea. If there is an escalation of tensions, the opportunity to use these crisis management tools uh, are gone. Number 7. What is the culture like in North Korea? With a human rights record that's been broadly denounced, North Korea is a country that prohibits free speech and restricts human rights. Only radio, TV, news and music producers accepted by the government are allowed to operate within the country. Not only that, but likely between 150 and 200,000 political prisoners are confined to concentration camps within the country's borders, where they are forced into labor, beaten, tortured or killed. Foreigners entering the country are watched closely by accompanying government officials, but that's still better treatment than the government gives its own citizens. They cannot legally leave the country at all. Those who have managed to escape and defect have helped the outside piece together a picture of a country isolated within the modern world. I was so scared. I thought my heart was going to explode. Number six, have there been any recent developments? American prisoner Jeffrey Fowl was arrested after he'd left a Bible in a public place while traveling in North Korea. And in October 2014, he was unexpectedly released. Less than a month later, on November 8, 2014, Kim Jong-un ordered the release of two more Americans, Christian missionary Kenneth Bay, who'd been sentenced to several years in prison for allegedly planning to overthrow the North Korean government, and Matthew Todd Miller who'd been jailed for supposed unruly behavior. 
Bay and Miller were let go when President Barack Obama sent a high-ranking member of his administration, U.S. Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, to secure their release. North Korea will not find security and respect through threats and illegal weapons. Number five, how is the government of the DPRK set up? Following their ideology of self-reliance, North Korea has been ruled by the Workers' Party of Korea since 1949. The country has had a constantly evolving constitution since 1948, which defines the DPRK as a socialist state and a, quote, dictatorship of people's democracy. Though basic civil and political rights are protected by the constitution, its effect on things like freedom of speech or religion is not widely enforced. The most recent amendments to the constitution were made in 2012, when both Kim Jong-il's legacy and North Korea's status as a nuclear-armed state were put in writing. Number 4. Is the DPRK militarized? North Korea has an active nuclear weapons program and mines containing scores of high-grade uranium, both of which are troubling to the international community. They've successfully tested their nuclear explosive devices on several occasions, including in 2006, 2009, and 2013. Amid tightened UN sanctions and consistent negotiations between North Korea and the US, Russia, China, Japan, and South Korea, it seems that the North Korean regime has no plans to end their nuclear ambitions. Number three, can I do business in North Korea? North Korea's is one of the world's least open economies, and therefore, the country faces persistent financial problems. The region's failure to invest sufficient funds or resources in industry for several years and overspending on the military has left citizens wanting. As a way of promoting outside investment in North Korea, the regime expanded its special economic zones in 2013 to bolster the stalled economy. Number 2. Who is the leader of North Korea? Following the death of his father Kim Jong-il on December 17, 2011, Kim Jong-un ascended to power in North Korea, eventually being named Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army and First Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, among other titles. Like his father before him and his father before him, Kim enjoys an unparalleled cult of personality that surrounds him, with mythology surrounding his family, birth, and life. Those who do not show deference to the administration are rigidly penalized. Perhaps most strange is the fact that Kim Jong-un has recently developed a friendship with former NBA basketball star Dennis Rodman, who calls Kim his friend for life. Number 1. What is the future of North Korea? Though much of Asia boasts a robust economy, growth, long-term planning, and military might, North Korea is seen as a backwards country on the brink of change either total collapse or evolution to a new society. Though it's nicknamed the Hermit Kingdom, this remnant of the Cold War faces several challenges as it continues to support its policy of suppression and isolation. New information sources like black market radios and cell phones find their way into the country, bringing with them a greater knowledge of the outside world. However, if the regime were to collapse, so would the economy necessitating unrivaled funding in terms of humanitarian aid from the international community. As power shifts in Asia, the status quo is challenged, and North Korea has the choice to adapt or face the consequences. Did these facts surprise you? To vote for which news story is covered next, head over to watchmojo.com suggest and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more newsworthy top 10s published every week. Thank <music> you.